this is H.C. Bailey. It is time, viewers. It is time for my number one most requested game to LP of all time. This is a turn-based JRPG for the original PlayStation, although I am playing a digital version for this LP on my PlayStation 3. It is available on the PSN, so if you want to play along with me, you can. It is called Let's Play for a reason. At least I take it rather literally. So, let's get started here. Did Final Fantasy VII not have enough English for you? Do you like timed hits, like a Super Mario RPG or a Paper Mario? Would you mind watching 30 second spell animations over and over and over again? Then come and let's play The Legend of Dragoon for the Sony PlayStation. At least I think that's the name of it, The Legend of Dragoon, not Legend of the Dragoon? Uh, yeah, I don't know. But I'll go with what I said first. But anyway, let's uh, turn off the vibrator there. I have no use for that. I got a PS3 controller. I don't think it has a vibrator function in it. I never really cared for that sort of thing, but whatever. And we're going to have some CD load times for this game too. So sometimes the game just kind of sit there for a little while. What was that? Firework? Whoa! Whoa! Too many fireworks! Like Happy Festival fireworks, yeah? Nuts. And of course, like all good JRPGs, you have to start by burning your beloved peasant village to the ground. Absolutely! Isn't that kind of a bad idea, though? Setting the village on fire then? sending in the soldiers? It doesn't exactly sound like the best plan. I mean, wouldn't your soldiers be put in harm's way? They could get set on fire themselves. But whatever works for you guys. What are those things they're riding on anyway? It's like some kind of a horse or something. They don't look like it. Great commander, this way. Oh yeah, we have a little bit of voice acting in this game too. Not too much, but I'll try not to talk over it if I can, because we don't have subtitles in this game. So, this is her. What do you mean? What is that thing, anyway? I don't think they ever explain what that little thing is. I know what it does. Well, what's that all about? Eh, probably not important. Hmm, indeed. Put her in custody. So you attack the village to arrest the girl? Is this really necessary? It is his majesty, Emperor Dole's command, to take that girl into custody. Who is she? That is not your concern. Who are you for that matter? Well, they sound like horses, but, but yeah, they sure don't look like it. I thought horses, like, kind of held their head up a bit more than that. Like, a lot more than that. Well, whatever works for you guys. I mean, biology was not my strong subject. Oh, well. Nuts. So, who do we take control of here? Who's in charge of the place? Who's in charge of the load times? There you go. Seems awfully bright for a thunderstorm. And why are you wearing only one pant leg? What happened to the other leg? Well, whatever works for you. Maybe it's the new trend in games. I don't know. Whoa, what's that? Can't quite make it out. Kind of blends in there. He just came out of the trees, man. He just came out of the trees. What are you going to do down there? Well, let's find out. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I suppose you do set villages on fire during a war. What do you mean it's too violent? It's a war! 
What did you expect? What's going on here? Dart, huh? Never heard of that name before, but whatever works for you. Well, the war kind of already started without you, man. And why do you only have one piece of armor for your arms? Yeah, I'm sure it's a rumor. I wouldn't worry about it. What happened to the armor on your right arm there, dude? Does anyone have a full amount of clothing? I mean, any actual character with a unique palette or sprite or whatever model? Hey, how's it going? What do you mean? How do you know that? Just because I don't have your uniform on? Whoa. Uh, defending myself? No, it's a, my penis. Yes, it's a sword! What do you think I'm gonna do? Just roll over and die just because you stepped up to the plate? Whoa. Looks more like a mantis than a dragon to me, but... Okay, whatever works. Well, you could tr try stabbing it a few times. You got a sword. If you're not going to attack it, though, you might want to, I don't know, sheath your sword so you can run a little faster. Wow, that guy's fast. I mean the dragon, not the guy, not Dart. Well, yeah, it's a, a dragon. What did you expect? Nice. Whoa! Oh, hey, it's the person we saw standing on the cliffs before. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Come with me if you want to live. So, are you going to actually try searching around for me or not? No? Okay, I guess not. Well, thanks for your help. I would have never thought of that brilliant strategy of hiding behind a rock so he can't find me. I was going to say a monster, evidently, but a dragon, same difference. You're in a JRPG. Of course you're going to have dragons. Or dinosaurs, or whatever. One or the other, at least. What do you mean? I didn't see a dragon there. They just kind of set the whole place on fire. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, they kind of came out of there real fast, I guess. Oh. I'd make a Final Fantasy VI reference, but I can't really think of anything witty to say about that. Oh, well. Whoa! What's that? What do you mean? You're not gonna tell us, are you, game? Eh, I wouldn't worry about her. She's probably not important. Same thing with the girl they captured, or arrested. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about her either. Or the mysterious man in the hood there. No, well, dead, I would guess. That usually happens when you set a village on fire. Well, let's see what we got going on here. Let's see, we got a little blue indicator above us. You can press the R1 button to get rid of it. But I like keeping it around, if I can. There you are. And you saw that little exclamation part or exclamation point indicator. That means if you press the X button, you can do something that you, well, otherwise wouldn't be able to do. Well, you kind of trashed the whole place. What more do you want? Hey, how's it going? Why does everyone keep on calling me a mercenary? Well, they were... Yeah, that.
Well, yeah, empires are bad, kingdoms are good. Absolutely. Nuts. All right, we got our first battle in the game. And a lot of the commands in this game are a little different from most other JRPGs, or at least the other ones that I've played. So, let's see what we got. We do have an escape command, but since this is kind of a mini boss fight, we can't really use that there. Items, we can use consumable items, but I don't think we'll need any of them here. We also have a guard command that when you use it, it restores 10% of whatever your max HP is, in addition to reducing damage that you would take, both physical and magical, and it gives you stat full status protection. It is obscenely good in this game. First things first, I want to use the attack command. And depending on which one you want to attack first, it doesn't really matter, you just select them. By the way, you see the nameplate up top there? It's red. Guess what element these guys are? If you say water, I'm gonna hit you. But nah, it's fire. These guys are fire elemental, although that doesn't really matter a whole lot right now, so let's attack them. Now you saw that little blue square in the middle of the screen there, and then there was that other blue square that was spiraling down towards it. When you see the two on top of each other, that's when you should press the X button, and then you get to do another hit. So it's what they call additions there. So the timing there, at least at the start, is not too difficult to deal with. Now, if you're playing the PS3 version, though, you may need to give yourself a little extra time to hit the X button due to lag, whether it's, you know, upscaling lag on an HDTV or input lag from a wireless controller or, if you're like me, human lag. I thought we killed those guys. Why is he running away there like that? Hey, how's it going? So yeah, lots of potential sources for lag here, but I can deal with it. I can dig it. Yeah, I, I was kind of there. We uh, took care of those guys, though. Oh, he said, what about the truce? But, well, apparently not anymore. One thing that I did to help deal with uh, upscaling lag, like on an HD TV, is that my TV has a uh, games mode on it for picture settings, I guess, and that seems to mitigate the lag that you might have from upscaling this game. Because, well, back then they didn't have HD TVs. Who's Shana? Don't die on me. Nuts. And he died. Oh, well. But anyway, let's go up here and get some treasure. All right. That's a consumable item there. And, well, this is a save point there, that glowy ball thing, whatever that is. So anyway, let's take a look at our inventory here. We have goods, which are essentially key items in the game. We're not going to be really worried about that. We don't do anything there. It's just kind of there. And then we got our list of items, which we have the armor or weapons of the game that get organized over here. And then you have the consumable items in a separate inventory. You might notice in the upper right there that we have a maximum capacity of 32 consumable items at a time. That really shouldn't be a problem, but it's something to keep in mind there. Just something to be conscious of. Let's see if we... Well, we don't have more party members, but eventually we will. And we can switch party members in and out however you like, except for Dart, because, well, he's the main character. He's always going to have to be around. Okay, well, let's see what else is going on in the village here. I'll go over more of those menu commands as... It becomes pertinent but right now I'm just gonna try and take it easy not overload you guys with too much information oh yeah that's my name don't wear it out
What are you doing, Dart? Eh, it's just a flesh wound. Shake it off! Oh, well, you might have wished you died with the rest of everyone. But yeah, what happened around here? Besides the fire, I mean. If only. Sadly, we do not have a White Chronicle to go back in time like that. That's another game, viewers. You should watch that LP. Yeah, what happened with her? The other guy was saying something. Oh. They burned the whole village to the ground just because... Just to get to her? Couldn't they have, I don't know, sent in police officers or... And arrested her or something? What did she do that was so horrible, anyway? Hmm. Well, we'll have to find... Well, find out wherever she was taken to. Hey, how's it going? What happened to the girl? Oh, I, I would disagree with you on that, buddy. By the way, this is not the same commander as the guy we saw in the cutscene there. Not that it's extraordinarily important, but it's just something to keep in mind. Oh, well, thank you. That was very helpful of you. Oh. Yeah, pretty much. Seems like overkill to me. But I suppose when you need it and don't have it, you sing a different tune. Where are you gonna let me follow? Whoa! We've got three enemies to deal with this time. Holy cow! And this is our first boss fight of the game. Now, let's see, we got three potential targets to choose from. If you kill one of the knights, the other one will run away eventually. And when both of these guys are gone, the commander there will gain, or he'll go into pissy boss mode and be able to deal a lot more damage to you. So what I want to do is start attacking the commander there. Deal a good timed hit there. Awesome. Ow, quit it. Man, none of us can really deal a whole lot of damage here, huh? Well, the numbers start off pretty small, but they get much bigger later in the game. So basically, what I want to do is kind of... Well, I want to hit the commander a couple times. Yes. Okay, there we go. And he will probably try to heal himself a little bit there. Yeah, there it is. Oh, well, not that much. But anyway, I want to hit him one more time, and then we'll start taking out the knights there. I don't want to kill the commander, because if you do that, both the knights will run away. And I want to be able to get as much experience from this fight as possible. Okay, so, yeah, you see how the indicator on him is red there? That means he's below 25% of his max HP. If it's blue, they're above 50%. And if it's yellow, it's between there. So let's kill this guy first. Yes. Easy enough. They're identical to the guys we killed before. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's a magic item. That's the burnout. That item that I used before. Okay, well normally this guy runs away, but I guess I got my turn a little quickly there. Um, hmm, I'm wondering if I should heal myself. I'll play it a little risky. Let's go all out. Yes. Okay, well, that was easy. Whoa. Please don't kill me. Thank you. Can I kill him, though? I think I can, as long as I don't miss. Okay. Yeah, got it. Yeah, if they were in the red, I'll have a tendency to just go all out and just finish the fight right then and there. And, alright, another level. When you gain levels, sometimes you learn a new addition. That's like the double slash attack that I'm using there. 
and I'll go into more detail about how all that works later. We're eventually going to have a tutorial that will show us how all that works. Oh, well, yeah, everyone keeps on asking me about that, so I guess I kind of have to do that, huh? What do you mean? It just started. Oh, I thought everyone kind of died. Well, thanks for taking care of business here. How long could that possibly take? Answer! This game has four discs to it. Yeah, this is a long game. Well, okay, let's see if we can find a way to get to Helena Prison, but before we do that, I want to go back and save. And just leave the dead bodies lying around. Someone will take care of them eventually. Now anyway, we got this addition command in the menu here. If you select that, you could switch to Volcano there. You see the damage percentage there? That indicates how powerful each addition could potentially be if you do all those timed hits there. For now, I'm going to stick with Double Slash because in order to unlock the ultimate addition for each character in the game, you have to master all of the previous ones that you get from level ups there. And in order to master them, you got to get them up to level five. And for each or for every 20 times that you use an addition, you gain a level there. So once you use it 80 times, you'll be able to, well, you'll gain, you'll master it. And then you could move on to another one to try to master there. And I am pretty low on HP, so I'm going to use a healing potion there. They, well, as you can see from the description, it restores whatever half of your maximum HP is. And we've got so many healing potions right now, we might as well put those to use. So let's sort things out a little bit there. Awesome. By the way, with the burnouts there, I would save them for a certain boss on disc 2 there. Because we can't otherwise buy them by the time we get there. So, yeah, I'm going to be saving these for a long time, but it is totally, totally worth it there. Oh, what's that config menu there? There's some options there. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Or, no, let's leave that there. Uh, I don't know what that is, but I want the short version. And, okay, yeah, I think that's everything there. Okay, now let's save here. Yeah, I'll just overwrite my practice file when I was playing earlier today just to refresh my memory here. So it's been a little while since I did uh, all the Disc 1 stuff here. But how do we get to Helena Prison anyway? Find out next time on Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day! <laughs>